hopefully everything runs all right. I'm gonna go check on my voice and everything in a minute. And I say that because Xbox is like the whole the whole core services is fucked, and I can't play half the games I own. So maybe something's not going to work right, but I feel like it should be okay. Uh, it's mostly Twitch sided, but maybe Xbox will affect it sometimes. And it usually is okay when I play. Uh, when I stream single player games, and that was the plan anyway, so welcome back Kotar dark sign part 13 uh, We literally just simply have to go to Korriban off screen. I played side quests This is all that's left is all our companion quests and the trial quest that I, I can't I can't beat it because we don't we can't go back to Manon I tried like I, I sat there banging on the door and I, I, not, not that it was gonna help uh, Anyways to Korriban last planet before we hit the uh, point of no return kind of esque area of the game. Check out my voice and the audio. I have to turn my headset down. It is cranked. Like, cranked. It was 10 out of 10. I couldn't even hear myself, like, the feedback from my own voice. Cranked. And now you guys can hear my voice through my, uh. Because I thought my phone volume wasn't maxed. Look at me go. Alright. <laughs> Korriban's one of my favorite planets to do, period, but I do love doing it as a, like, a wannabe Sith Lord. Like, come on, man. It's, it's the dark side planet, and you're showing up like, duh, duh, duh. I'm a Sith. <laughs> it's especially good to do Korriban when you already know you're Revan. I think that that's the funnest part, because now you can show up and... Because there is a bunch of voice lines I'm going to use here where I can walk in there and be like, I'm Revan. So... pumped to play some Kotar today. I was with my girlfriend all day. I haven't streamed all day. Like, it's 8, eight o'clock at night, and I haven't streamed yet. I was with my family and my girlfriend, I should say. Both. Same time. Landing at Dresh Day, trying to find us a Bastille Shaw. As Sarah Shaw. Getting a high on the dark side points. Also kind of close to leveling up. Yeah, pretty close to leveling up. And we should get high. We should definitely be strong enough to beat Malik. Even if I don't hit level 20. And it's my own fault if I don't hit level 20. Chipe <laughs> Tonk nabung sha nun yang. Tonk patoga smaktelia. Kuya mi juz kachita. Nai patoga ya fulki. Kukula jiji. Kawana bota a ayut tagwa. Ui. Ita nadana yitya. Kunti chani. Kuya mi juz kachita, nai patoga ya fulki, kukula jiji. Kawana bota a ayut tag. Mucha shak pangpa, inkin kuno ba. Easy. I don't want my companions around when I uh, do some of the stuff I'm gonna do here. Um, some of the stuff I do and some of the stuff I don't. I'm simply going to be a dick sometimes here. This is the point where I'm like, oh yeah, we're definitely deciding to join the Sith. Like, by join the Sith, I mean become the Sith. You don't want to join the Sith in this game. You want to become the Sith. I was just checking to make sure there's nothing to loot here. I never actually checked out this area of the map. Like, I never went behind the ship here. No, that there was, was nothing, so I never... Again, 
You pathetic hopefuls can't possibly all be this stupid, can you? Wata wama mulira, king kunjo peshak, no ba mulira ji, Johnny Yun Turung. I'm no master yet, but I like the sound of that. All right, one more question. A lot of you is trying my patience. All right, let's say you become a Sith and I am your commanding officer. I give you an order to spare the life of an enemy. Do you do it? Oh, of course, Shardan. Anything you command us. We would never oppose oh. you. No, no, no. Oh, do you honestly believe that the Sith are in need of such sniveling cowards? Mercy is a weakness. If your leader shows weakness, it is your duty to kill him and show true authority, true power. That is why the Sith are strong. Tony Pudu! Rana nu prata dunk no sercha itchua penki! No, you don't understand, and you probably never will. You wouldn't survive five seconds in the academy, the other students would tear you apart. Bah! I can't be bothered with fools. Perhaps I should. Hmm. You, Jedi! You're looking to get in the academy, are you not? Well, of course you are. Why else would you be here? Let me pose a question to you. These hopefuls will never survive in the Academy. A lesson must be taught here, but I am at a loss as to what form it should take. I'm thinking to spare them the effort of being killed and do it myself. Perhaps I shall turn their skin inside out. Or force lightning. Yes, it's a most impressive display. Or perhaps a bit of humiliation is in order. I could easily strip off their tunics and make them run through the colony. Or they could lose all control of their bodily functions. What do you think? I just can't seem to decide. What do I want to do? Please, tell him to let us go, I beg you! Silence. Why not ask you? I'm rather exhausted from dealing with hopefuls like these. I can barely think straight. Besides, I find it fun. Come now, a decision, please. Let them go, perhaps scare them, kill them. Communication. My thoughts Kill them. exactly. How lovely to encounter someone with such an agreeable disposition. Fuck y'all. Yeah, give me those dark side points. Get wrecked, kids. We don't need to talk to the uh, guy here, there yet. Look here, my dear friends. We have a newcomer to our little colony. A Jedi, no less. I don't believe I've seen this one before, have you? I hate Jedi, and these fallen ones are worse. They always get into the academy, and they think they're better than the rest of us. Looks pretty fresh to me, Lasho. That's what I thought. Well, stranger, I don't know whether you're aware of this or not, but here on Korriban, the Sith do as they please. And we are Sith. Quite literally, whether you live or die depends upon our whim. What do you think of that, hmm? What do I think of that? How precocious. I think this one tried to make a joke, don't you? I didn't think it was funny. Neither did I. A brave face, perhaps, but I'm more interested in being amused at the moment, I think. What do you say? Amuse us. Make us laugh, and we might just consider allowing you to live. See here. What? <laughs> I think someone just stood up to you, Lasho. Shut up, fool, unless you want to be next. Yeah? Anytime. Stop it. This is boring. Let's just go back to the academy. Fine, we'll go. As for you, I'll find you later. Trust me on that. <clears throat> Fuck that bitch. I guess that's not even dark side points. Weird. To me that's a little weird, but it's not bad. The Zerka store. Do I ever actually go in here? Wait, what's in here? <gasps> Zerkas, citizens, Zerka guards. Literally unlootable crates. Why would you ever come in here? What's... I don't know, the circle represents something you need. Nobody you need to know. I'm just here to try to get into the Sith Academy. Well, you have to impress one of the Sith. 
The final decision rests with Euthura Ban, however. She's the one who decides exactly which of us get into the Academy or not. I've been hanging out hoping she'll come by and notice me, to be honest. Usually she's in the Academy, but sometimes she comes out into the colony to look for prospects. If she's in the colony, she can usually be found in the cantina, but not always. She's one of the most powerful Sith in the Academy, I hear. Yeah. Go Good to on. know. I mean, I didn't know that, but I think I needed to know that, idea, you know? Yes. Our corporate outpost there has been destroyed by the Wookiee savages. This could put back the use of Wookiee labor considerably. We may even have to abandon the planet completely. Ah, well, what can you do? Sorry, was there something you needed? Do come again. Yeah, that's... I mean, it was good to hear the like the game actually acknowledge what happened on Kashyyyk. I like that. But I don't really care. Also, we're about to get another quest here that we will do here soon. Avic's dead? Noted. This guy will sell me some decent stuff? Not as quite as good as the guy on the other planet, but I think he has like a set of gauntlets I want, I can't remember. Very smart of you. Alright, well, life support packs, those are always useful. To be fair. I'm actually gonna buy every single one of them, because uh, in case I need them. I have all the money in the world, chat. Three grand for a thermal detonator. What do you mean? <laughs> buy a couple of these, actually. See here. Yeah, the regeneration implant. In case someone can use that, I'll buy it. This is what I've been saving all my money for, really. That and the other guy on Yavin will give me a couple more good things, too, at some point. Uh, Dexterity 4. I don't know if I need that. If I want it, I'll come back and get it.
Is my headset not? I'm just like touching it to move it back into a better spot. Might as well buy a couple of thermal detonators. I'm actually down to ten thousand dollars, Chad. I haven't been that low on money in a very long time. Like, a very, very, very long time. <laughs> I just spent, chat, by the way, to, like, put that into perspective. I just spent a hundred and... I had 130k. So I spent 120,000 credits right there. That's a lot of money. <laughs> in Star Wars, it's actually a lot of money. Because, like, people in Star Wars, like, some planets live off of a thousand credits for, like, a while. Like, quite a while. That's, like, food. That's enough for money for a while. So, that's a lot of money. <laughs> Probably, like, the US dollar equivalent of a couple million. Well, like I always said, it's super easy to get rich in this Kotar, so... Two, it's just as easy. This one's easier now because Yavin's in the game, but in general, it's so easy to get money in this game. It's unbelievable. I actually just bought a bunch of stuff and didn't equip it, now that I think about it. So, I don't want strength amplifiers. I need dominator gauntlets, because plus six is way better. When I want to look all Sith, I can use this thing. Because it has, like, plus, yeah. I'm not going to wear it too often, because it's the ugliest thing on the fucking game, to be honest, but... <coughs> Immune to crits? Yeah, I'll put that in any day. Holy crap, I didn't even realize that's what I bought. That's so OP, dude. That's unbelievable. Is this 5 to bludgeoning? Saves all. I'm going to put that on for now and see if it's better. If it hits 19.21. If I do that, it's 19.21. Yeah, this is what I want. Sorry. Oops. And then, uh, let's see. Let's throw some other stuff on my companions. Plus two. Just checking to see if there's anything else to be better to put on some of my companions. So I can throw that on you. Give you some strength gauntlets. I think we're good. Actually. No, not yet. Not unless I need to. But those are really strong overshields. So, like, they're good. I might have just lagged for a second there, chat. Because my, uh, I just, know, someone was uploading on my internet. Um, if it lagged, I'm sorry. It shouldn't do it often, but... If I just did lag, that's why. That would literally be why. Yeah, I'm just checking on to make sure we're not. We're, no, we're good now. I don't know if it did. I'm just warning you that it might have. And I'm aware that it probably just did. Leave me be. Can't you see that I'm busy? Good. I don't want to miss this for anything. You are neither a Sith, nor do you bear the medallion of a student of this facility. Please, leave at once. I see. And who might your friends be? On your way, citizen. I should be able to go back in and she should be there. And allow, willing to talk to me about getting in. Can I actually change my companions away right now? No. Only when I'm inside this area. I was just curious. It didn't? Oh. Chat says it didn't, so. Where are you, Thora? Is there something you need, Jedi? Make it good, for I have little patience. I am. Obviously, you have been told of me. Is it your desire, then, to train at the Academy? Do you wish to become a Sith human? Ah. 
Ah, so you are just another hopeful after all. Or are you? There is something odd about you that I cannot place. Obviously, you are a Jedi. One who is very strong in the Force, it seems. So were you a part of the Order for very long? Did they train you? As I thought, how interesting that they would let one with such power out of their grasp. Or are you here to spy on us? For all the good it would do. With that kind of power, you could become a great Sith. Perhaps, if I let you. Does that interest you? Uh, why would I try to force persuade her? Ah, good. Exactly the sort of answer I was hoping for. I will take you to the Academy, and we shall see if you are ready to join the ranks of the Sith. Are you ready to go there now? Then let us leave. The Master of the Academy awaits you. I don't need my companions right now. Greetings, prospective students. It appears we have a late entry. Who do you bring before me, Uthura? A young human bristling with the Force? A human that has had some training, it seems, Master Uthar. Very promising, I think. I met this one in the colony. Unworthy, if you ask me. That I'll judge for myself, thank you. Tell me, human. What do you know of the ways of the Sith? What preconceptions has your mind been polluted with? A diplomatic answer, if not the core of the matter. Our power is obvious. The question in truth goes much deeper than the surface. The Jedi equate the light with goodness and strength, and the dark with weakness and evil. That is their tradition, and it is truly no surprise that they cling to it for comfort. We, however, do not treat the Force as a burden. We treat it as a gift, a thing to be celebrated. We use it to acquire power over others. And why should we not? Because the Jedi say we should not. We are as the Force is meant to be. The Jedi would hide that from you. They would tell you the dark side is too quick, too easy. All so that they need never challenge the passions that lie within them. Joining with us means realizing your true potential. It means not stifling yourself solely for the sake of hidebound shamans and their antiquated notion of order. Be what you were meant to be. What say you, Lasho? Are you ready to learn the secrets of the dark side? Dare you? I dare, Master Uthar. I am ready. Brash and fiery, as expected. Turn that passion to your advantage, child. What of you, Meikle? Are you ready? I am, Master. More than ready. I sense much anger within you, young one. That is good. That will provide you power. And Shardan, what of you? I am always ready. I see. You had best gather your wits for the trial ahead, boy, or you will not last. And you, young human, does this interest you? Are you ready to learn more of what I speak? And so shall it be. Now then, all of you five recruits have shown a degree of facility with the Force. You all have the potential to become true Sith. Only one of you, however, will succeed. The one who succeeds will be admitted to the Academy as a full Sith. All others must wait until next year and try again, if you survive. My pupil, Euthura, shall be your teacher and master while you attempt to prove yourselves. Heed her words. As Master Uthar said, none of you are true Sith yet. For that to occur, one of you must do enough of worth, gain enough prestige to be selected. What is an act of worth? You must learn that for yourselves. Remember that you are competitors here. Fight for your destiny, or go home. If you wish to gain a lead over your competitors, the first of you to learn the code of the Sith, and tell me of it, will be rewarded. Oh, I know the code the of the Sith. For you to discover. Welcome to the dark side is what they say. I forgot. I didn't mean to skip that. Honestly, I'm just eager to tell him the code of the Sith. Oh, there you are. My favorite prospect for the year. Absolutely. 
By my estimation, you are far more likely to achieve the prestige necessary to join the Sith than any of the others. As a matter of fact, I am so certain of that that I'm willing to offer you an opportunity of the once-in-a-lifetime variety. Would you like to hear it? Good. I do so adore someone who's willing to take a chance. As I said, you're no doubt going to be the one whom Uthar chooses to become a Sith. With my help, of course. Once that occurs, he will take you into the Valley of the Dark Lords to the tomb of Nagasado to administer the final test. There you and I will be alone with him. The perfect time to, shall we say, arrange for a change in the Academy's leadership? The tomb is an ancient ruin on the surface that was visited years ago by Darth Revan and Darth Malak. They discovered a star map there of great importance. Reaching that map as they did is part of the final test. At any rate, it is not the tomb that is important. That Uthar will be alone is what is important. Is that such a daunting prospect? It is not as if I am asking you to perform the task alone, or as if you will get nothing out of it. Master Uthar cannot prevail against us both. That's all there is to it. It is a very simple matter. And so it should. It is central to our beliefs. It is my responsibility to replace my master when I am strong enough. I'm so glad you see it my way. I will begin to make preparations for your final test. Your only worry now is to get there. Don't disappoint me. You have had an excellent start. Go and gain prestige, she says. Be good. Be good, Sith. Good at Sith. Be good at being Sith. Let's see, I'm just thinking, chat. I only have. F I can get two this level. Good. If I do that, even if I only get three more powers, I get one, two, three. That's all I need, right? I'm not missing anything if I did that. Yeah, I just wouldn't be able to start anything new. I wouldn't be able to take Storm. I think I get, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. Force immunity is like strong. There's not really any reason not to, uh, I didn't mean to actually cast, I meant to cast speed chat, like literally. Greetings, young one. You have much to do yet. You have gained little prestige. You will have to work quickly if you hope to best the others. I wonder if I should rat her out. <gasps> I don't know who I care enough to rat out. Oh, it is no more complicated than I said. Perform impressive deeds, or bring me a suitably valuable artifact from the Valley of the Dark Lords. Really, however, you should seek out Euthura and get her advice. She is your trainer, after all, yes? Indeed. Really, do I have to ask Euthura first? That dialogue literally won't come up unless I ask her first. I have to tell her, I have to get her to rec recite the, the thing to me. Oh, fuck. I already know the code of the Sith game, okay? Kind of annoyed about that. I already know it. Also, that's Cal. I don't want to talk. Sucks. On it. Damn. On it. Damn. On it. Damn. On it. Damn. <laughs> Almost oh, oh, so I talked to this uh, guy. Hello. I don't remember seeing you here before. 
My name is Kel. Kel Alguin. I... oh, uh, nothing. Uh, yes, my master always says I'm too trusting, too willing to show weakness. You're a Sith, so I, I really shouldn't... you know. Uh, no. No, I, I really can't. A, a Sith, like you, would use any means to succeed. Well, I, 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 I didn't mean it like that. I, I, I shouldn't <laughs> trust you. I, I can't trust you, can I? I just don't feel I belong here. I thought maybe I did at first, but now, I don't know. I just have so many doubts. I guess you're right. The dark side is where I belong. No going back now. Th thank you. You have encountered a student in the usual student in the Sith Academy who has confessed to you that he has strong feelings of doubt that this is the appropriate place for him since knowledge would be dangerous and if he fell into the wrong hands. Interesting. I bet I can rat him out for some prestige. I didn't even know you could actually do that, chat. Probably gonna do that because he's a little, little baby. He's a little baby. I'm just kidding. I'm eager to get this over with. I can help you understand it. Would you like to hear it? Peace is a lie. There is only passion. Through passion, I gain strength. Through strength, I gain power. Through power, I gain victory. Through victory, my chains are broken. The Force shall free me. Simple words, yet easily misunderstood. Would you care for me to explain anything? I want to say I think I got it, but I want to ask one question. This has been argued over, and often. The chains represent our restrictions, both those placed upon us and those we place upon ourselves. Ultimately, the goal of any Sith is to free herself from such restrictions. In a way, it is so we may do whatever we wish, but it is much more than that. One who has freed themselves from all restrictions has reached perfection, their potential fulfilled. Perfect strength, perfect power, perfect destiny. Imagine it. That is our ideal at any oh, rate. I see it. It is said in Darth Sith Revenant legend strength that again. the Sithari, the perfect being, will one day lead us. But perhaps that is just a legend. I wonder what that being would be like. The legends say the Sithari will destroy us and make us stronger than ever. But perhaps that is just That sounds legend. about right. Perfection is a goal, I think, rather than a state of being. The Jedi would argue that, no doubt. I am not surprised. The Force is strong with you. Master it and it shall serve you well. You have had an excellent start. Go, gain more prestige. Greetings, young one. You have much... Then finish the code as I speak it. Peace is a lie. That is only... Uh -huh. Through passion, I gain... Through Thanks. strength, I gain... Power. Through power, I gain... Victory. Through victory... The chains are broken. The Force shall free me. Yes, good. You have indeed learned the code of the Sith. Speaking the words and knowing the words are, however, two different things. Well, I always fail this Tell part. Me then, true or false? That is nothing worse than love. False. Oh, well done. I will test you no more. You know the code. Very impressive. Go now. You have done well, but you have not impressed me enough to declare you the victor. I have... A student, is it? What might you have to say? 
Ah, I think I know this one you speak of. You gained his confidence to admit such, did you? I commend your competitive spirit. You have certainly impressed me. I shall speak to the boy straight away. Go now. You have done well, but you have not impressed me enough to declare you the victor. I have matters to attend to. Oh? What is my apprentice up to now? I see. It is good that you have come to me with this information, young one. It is a bit... ironic that Euthura has begun her plotting. I have been aware of her growing ambitions for some time, and had in fact already decided to remove her. Normally, the one who gains the most prestige would engage in a final trial. Two of the students would fight. This time, it will be Euthura who battles, though she does not yet know it. Perhaps it will be you who combats her. Yes, perhaps so. This is what you can do. Give this pad to Adrenus. He will put some poison in her bath. This will weaken Euthura for that final test, making her an easy target. Rather generous of me, don't you think? For coming to me with this information and betraying your foolish trainer. I feel you are worthy of prestige, young one. Go now. You have not yet impressed me enough to declare you the victor. I have matters to attend to. You have gained considerable prestige. You are very close to the end. Do not falter now. Wait, who do I give that to? Random container that's actually openable. A chuta Wonga couldn't be A chuta Wonga. Well, why? Wait, is that not the guy I'm supposed to speak to? The double double cry. <laughs> uh, there he is again. You must locate Adrenus in the exit of the van given the de hello game. Can I not give wait hello? Also, why does he speak? Yeah, I Oh, he just speaks Twi'lek. Yeah, I say he speaks Twi'lek and it throws me off. Oh. Gino Mulera can pita, slim of Kachikun Ida Hodonga, ye king. Welcome. What's this other person say to me? Okay, well, I really don't want to hear you speak basic, non, sorry, not Galactic basic. Um. We did the tombs last time on screen, so what I'm gonna do is everything but the tombs. Uh, and I'll do them on. Maybe, I don't know, we'll see. For now, that's what the plan is. But, I don't know. Sorry, Who's I don't this have guy? time to speak. My training. Oh, okay. Waits. Okay, buddy. Okay. Okay, buddy. Maybe you can do better than I. This Mandalorian is proving more resistant than I expected. I'm trying to get him to tell us where his weapon cache is hidden. So far, all the serum combinations I'm using are proving ineffective. If I bring his drug threshold too high, he'll go into shock and be useless. Too low, and he just refuses to talk. It's been madly. Just don't kill him or send him into shock. He's supposed to be questioned, 
not executed. If you manage to get the location of his cash out of him, it'll save me a lot of trouble. Up to you. Let's see here. What are you, ma? Wamahuhu nandetik. Ah, shotung ni patoga. Wano kuzbe ching palabule tonke. See here. Natipon achuta. Achuta Not Achuta Ucha Hatunga Ya Fulke Jachiska to Punta Casapu Baka Bana Oto Spilled your guts, didn't you, buddy? Yes, I heard that. Excellent job. Thank you for locating the cash. Naturally, I would see rewarded, but I would prefer that everyone believe that I extracted the information. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, I suppose one would need to be alive to go running to Master Yutha to report the location of the cash, wouldn't they? Does that mean that you're ready to battle a true Sith then? Shall we make an issue of it? Ha! Gather your anger then, and let us see who is superior. <laughs> Easy. Why'd you have a green crystal on you? That's weird. Mine now. <laughs> Let's see what wait, what's the computer panel do now? Oh okay. Unlucky. Anything I can do in here? Oh yeah, the Sith use prisoners to fight. To train. It's live training. So what happens if I do this? Ah. For what you've done! Yeah, just basic attacks. Oh no, I was gonna do just basic attacks. We'll do one with just basic attacks. Let's do it. You want me to fight you? You'll pay for what you've done! Yeah, no, basic time. Fuck it. Dead. Can I do another one? Uh, these can't be infinite, right? Aha. 
No more students. It's all for dark side or light side points. Yeah, and look at my dog. Jesus Christ, look at my dark side. Shit, I couldn't- I don't think I could be any more fucking rude. <laughs> Let's go see if that's enough to, uh, impress him. Do not forget our agreement regarding Euthura's treachery. We shall put her in her place. Should you reach the final test, that is. You do? That is most interesting. Where might that be? Hmm. How ironic that I recently had his vessel scrapped for parts then. I had assumed it had been thoroughly scanned. Apparently not. Still, you have done well in bringing me information that others could not unearth on their own. I am impressed. Go now. You have done well, but you have not... You have gained considerable... Oh, come on, bro. You gotta give me those, man. I, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm like, I'm only like one point from being done. You know, we should do this episode before I... Maybe I will do all the things next episode, I don't know. This episode, ending it right now, like, not now, but like, really soon we're gonna go to the caves outside this area and just, we'll, we'll run through the caves. Can I... I'm gonna have to go this way quickly, just to... Um, this is the normal exit. Best day, yeah. Let me go back to dress day and grab my companions. If I'm allowed, you'd, you'd think I am, right? <clears throat> we'll see. If I'm not allowed, then I'll just do it. I can I can definitely just solo the, the cave. I just would rather have companions for extra health and stuff. Um, actually, since I'm already running there, I should grab the spice and, and deliver it. Also, apparently I have to fight these guys here. Hey, what's this? Looks like we found ourselves a bit of sport, my friends. This is good. I want to celebrate my acceptance into the academy. Me too. So how about it, chump? Ready to die? I'm eager to blow off some steam after those tests. That's pretty funny. Why should we be scared of you? Oh, uh, this one doesn't look like a pushover, you know. All right, well, I wasted one of my charges on my shield, yeah, whatever. Okay. You just keep out of our way next time. Really can't. I, I should just kill them for dark side points. Once you become a Sith, you can do anything. You can feel the power coursing through you. None of you fools can compare to me. Please, you're jealous. You're jealous of my power. You think you deserve this medallion, don't you? Let's just see. See? I have the power to do anything! Pudu, Tony Rama Nap. Sniveling fool! And you would ever belong beside me in the academy. I'd rather kill you now and save us the trouble. What's this? It seems I have an audience. Look, Jedi. Just keep walking. Unless you want some of the same. I am a Sith now. My power is supreme! Prepare to die. <laughs> Easy. Da 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 Anywho, let's grab that uh, spice, grab some companions, go back.
something here. What? Spice. What do you want now? What the hell is your kind doing here? Bad enough I have to deal with all these other idiots, but now there's a stinking Cathar on this world too? I have as much right to be here as you do, sir. Ooh, big woman. The Jedi shooting her mouth off from behind a lightsaber. Or whatever you're carrying, hiding behind your pet cat there. And a woman at that. We should have exterminated all you cat there when we had the chance. What? What do you know about my world? I know enough that... Hey, wait a minute. You look familiar somehow. What? You? This doesn't concern you, Jedi trash. Hmm. Now where could I have... No, he's dead and she likely is too. I... What are you talking about? Maybe I was wrong. Still, I think a specimen like you would be a nice addition to my collection. So, what would it take, Jedi, for you to sell your pet here to me? Now, don't be so selfish. We both know Cathair aren't real people anyway. The females make amusing pets, but the males should be put down like the animals they are. I remember one time on Taurus. What? What did you say? What did you do on Taurus, you scum? Put one of you down like the animals you are. So easy. Then I saw one of the females on the auction block. <sighs> but those darn... Jets. I've never seen this encounter, by the way. Never in my life. What? Me? Oh, ho, now I recognize where I've seen that face before. You were the little Cathair I was going to purchase. But those Jedi came and stole my pet away from me. When I was fighting with the Mandalorians against the Cathar, I developed an appreciation for these creatures. They make excellent servants if properly trained. You Jedi act all prim and proper, but inside you must feel the same way I do about the lesser, non-human species. The Sith at least let their feelings... So racist. This is so racist. <laughs> Come now. Will you let your pet go? I'm sure we can come up with a price we both think is fair. No! I will not be sold! And I will see you dead for what you have done- uh, Hold on a second. D don't be hasty. Yes, we will. No, no, no. I must not fall prey to the dark side again. My lust for vengeance must be curbed. Yes, yes. Say no to the dark side, but I will have you yet. Ha! Yeah, the bears are raised to special ground. She was a member of the fleet that attacked and destroyed her homeworld. When Johanni had been sold to slavery, was one of the rebels army stopped him at the time. Sworn to get his revenge, and I know Shawnee the lust for his blood. Understandable. <clears throat> I've never seen that encounter. I've literally never seen that encounter before. I guess I've never gotten that far in Johanny's quest. Gino. 
Kiwakan Tung abashun ni chunchi kakin cha nawa bagaon changwa ba chinlo uba baska dwana chicho pa muska inba ni cha lora kun ki yuma batmalia uno wish kakin cha nawa bagaon kun muli ras limo poi wanga tokin ba nikaba dubaka Patisa, Patisa, I'll do that off screen. It's really, it's seriously that simple. You just, if I recall, you actually just go deliver a box for a bunch of money. I don't remember for sure, but I'm like actually like 99% sure that is actually what happens. You just go deliver a box and they give you some money. So I don't even know why I'm going out at this point. We're about to end the episode. Um, I'm going to go to Yavin right now. I'm going to like sprint back to... That's not what I wanted. Past. My god, thank you. Remember how we had an encounter? Did you guys hear that? What just happened? What what just happened? Who's getting force lightninged, bro? Who the hell's getting force lightninged, dude? What do you mean? Like, I, I don't understand. <laughs> We're going to Yavin to see if there's another encounter, then I'm ending the episode. Like, I'm actually ending the episode in like, the next 30 seconds, so. Remember how we got an encounter the one time, chat? Like, I just happened to go into Yavin to sell some stuff. And I got an encounter. Well, we're gonna go see if I get, um... Any encounters on Yavin. Because we're like... I hit Tatooine, chat. Oh, I'm butthurt. Skip. I'm gonna get, like, a... St I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try to skip this and get starships attacking my ship. You get random starship encounters and I don't know. I, I, I called it. When you try to travel, sometimes you get random encounters like this. Can I shoot, please? What annoys me about that is I'm literally just about to go land on on Tatooine and then take off again. Let's see how fast I can skip this shit. Oh, are you kidding me, game? Are you kidding me? I didn't know this was possible. To be honest. I didn't know it was possible to get two in a row. That's so annoyingly unlucky. Just to watch the same cutscene again where we just float around. Uh... What's happening?
Uh, I broke the game. Chat. Uh, uh, do, what? I'm not going to count any of this, by the way. But I broke the game. Wait, what? Where, why am I allowed to go to... What's happening? What? The game won't load because I'm not supposed to be. What the fuck? <laughs> You do. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. <laughs> so we're. I'm gonna have to like close and I'm gonna have to crash the game. I'm gonna have to. And when I reload, it'll be like a, f a little bit ago. If I'm missing anything, I'll just get back to that point off screen. Where I'll end it is exactly where we were going to leave and go to Yavin. So like we had just talked and talked to that person. That like threaten Jahani, we'll get back to that point. If I, if I if anything's erased, I'll just get back to that point and do the same thing. But my game is clearly bro. I can't. I've never seen that in my life. I ha, what happened? At this point, the episode's over. By the way, I'm looking something up right now because I'm gonna look up this bug and see if this is like a thing. We had a galaxy droid. What's that even mean? Um... Galaxy droid. Galaxy droid is a mysterious droid that had incredible knowledge of the galaxy. It was found by Reverend after escaping the Leviathan. The Galaxy Droid is a glitch, okay, yeah. It can be found after escaping. This glitch will only happen in the Xbox version. Okay. Accessible... Accessing the Galaxy Droid requires the following precise steps. Th apparently, I somehow managed to do this by accident. Uh, accessing the Galaxy Droid... After finding your third star map, return to the Ebon Hawk and set your destination to Dantween. You will then get abducted by the Leviathan. I didn't do that, though. But, okay, we'll continue. Complete the Leviathan on the mission, sure. You return to the destination choose just before you get into it should be done. Upon returning to the Ebon Hawk's cockpit, you must then set your destination to the planet you had finished just before getting abducted. Uh, that, again, I didn't do that. Be sure to not to leave the Ebon Hawk at this time. Upon arrival, you will see the everyone standing in the middle of your ship. Again, that, that's what we saw. Um, go to the cockpit once more and you'll see a galaxy droid. The odd swoop droid will also be on your ship. Okay. The droid will instantaneously transport you to any planet in the game. If the player chooses the Star Forge, the Ender Spire, or the Leviathan, the game will crash. Same. If Taurus is chosen, there's no way off the planet, but you can go there. Okay, cool. Hmm. Well, thanks for joining me on this episode. Uh, I'm going to go fix my game. So, for episode 14, again, like I said, I'll get back to that point, and if anything gets missing, I'll explain what happened. Uh, other than that, it'll be the same thing, but you didn't see that. This, this just doesn't count, because I have no fucking clue what just happened.